Howdy all, welcome to Avengers with Kendall. Today, we're hitting the streets of Bakersfield to learn the story of the legendary Bakersfield Arch. It's gonna be a fun time learning the story of this unique landmark, and I can't wait to take you to see it. So let's get going and go see the Bakersfield Arch. Have you ever traveled down 99 and seen this Bakersfield Arch and why is it here? Well, today's episode, we'll talk about the interesting story of the Bakersfield Arch. One of the most recognizable landmarks in Bakersfield. Now located on Silic Avenue at Buck Owens Boulevard, next to the Buck Owens Crystal Palace. Originally constructed in 1949 and located on Union Avenue, just south of California Avenue. At this time, Union Avenue served as US 99. The arch was a footbridge to serve the two halves of the Bakersfield Inn. The arch also served as a way to welcome visitors into the city of Bakersfield. By the 1990s, the sign had fallen into a state of disrepair, so much that Caltrans feared that the sign will collapse and fall into the roadway below. The Bakersfield Inn had closed and no one was maintaining the sign. Help for the arch will come in the form of country singer Buck Owens. Born in Sherman, Texas on August 12, 1929, Buck Owens, along with Bill Woods, Merle Haggard, and Billy Mize, pioneered what would become the subgenre called Bakersfield Sound, named after their beloved city, Bakersfield, California. One of Buck's most popular songs was Streets of Bakersfield, a link of which will be provided below. Anyway, he provided the funds for the arch to be moved next to his Crystal Palace. The renovation started in 1999 on the 50th anniversary of the sign's original construction. The original sign was demolished and the new sign was constructed just north of the sign's new location. Samson Steel constructed the framework and when finished, it was carried down the street by crane in the early morning hours. The sign was stored on Buck Owens property so the other trades will have access to complete their work to finish the sign. On July 4th, the sign was erected in its new location, next to the Buck Owens Crystal Palace. The sign cost Buck Owens more than $175,000, but most of the costs were donated by various subcontractors and the general contractor. The only components that could be salvaged from the original sign were the blue letters spelling Bakersfield. By using the letters and constructing in its new location, the sign could again be visible to the important Golden State Highway. There are places where this sign has been used in popular culture based on how recognizable it has been for the city of Bakersfield. It appeared in the logo of the 2011 ECHL Hockey All-Star Game located in Bakersfield. The name Bakersfield was designed to resemble the arch paying homage to the original location of the game. In episode 125 of the hit Nickelodeon show, Fairly Odd Parents, this show was a family favorite that my sister and I would watch all the time, along with SpongeBob. Boy, I had a great time seeing the Bakersfield Arch. But now, let's head back to the studio. Giddy up! I hope we had a great time learning about the Bakersfield Arch. It was a fascinating dive into the history of this Central Valley landmark and its connection with country music. Thank you, Buck Owens, for saving this landmark. Speaking of landmarks, I hope you're ready for next week's show because we're going back to Hillcrest Christmas Tree Farm to experience a rail fest on the Hillcrest and Watoki Railroad. But until then, if you have a location for us to go on, comments or email down below. We would love to see your suggestions. And also subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We would love to see your faces. Now that's all the time we have here on Adventures of Kendall. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world.